Hi all, this is Phil and we're in the man cave at the moment so I'll just show you the collection we've got a summit, an armor big rock, an FTX DR8 we've got an Outcast 6S, a Typhon 3S a Typhon 6S a BSD Flux a Traxxas Stampede, an FTX Mauler a Red Cat Everest a Red uh, sorry, that's the Red Cat Everest, that's uh, Red Cat Gen 7, and under there there's also a ZD Thunder. Right, that's the collection, there's 12 cars over there, some spare bits. Here's the charger, and this is the topic today, ZOP, ZOP Power LiPos. I bought these four, the four that are on charge here all charging off a quad charger three of these four are dead they've had it and but you can see from the condition each of them's been run minimal amount of times there's no damage to any of them the stickers aren't even worn out or faded there's nothing there's nothing wrong with them but they've all got dead cells in them I'm currently trying to discharge the batteries to throw them away and you can see battery 1 has got 3 volts in cell 1 and cell 3 and almost 3.4 in cell 2 that battery will not balance battery on channel B is balanced it's got 352 in all cells it's discharging that one will charge but it won't hold the charge for any amount of time it's terrible it runs out really quickly um, battery on channel 3 that one is only just kind of balanced now it's been way out for quite a while and channel D 3 volts 3.58 3.57 that will not balance so I've got four batteries they were approximately 25 pound each they shipped from China and they took a while to get here and they're crap I'm not going to swear I'm not going to swear about it but they are crap that's a waste let's say there's a hundred pounds in four batteries and they're going in the bin even the ones that will balance and will charge don't last long they're supposed to be 5,500 milliamp 60C. You don't get 5,500 milliamps. They won't charge at 5.5 amps on this charger or on this charger. So we've got not just the one, and there's another charger over there, exactly the same as this one. And just so we're clear, I'm saying don't waste your money. Don't spend £100 on 4 ZOP batteries, which you can use twice and throw in the bin. That's not good investment of £100. These are all 3 cell batteries. These are HRB. And there's a little bit of a reflection in there. HRB 5000 milliamp 50C. You me 6200 milliamp 50C. They're soft case. Hard case, hard case, hard case. So those are thirty pound each, but they're too big. They're too long. If you can see, they are a huge battery. They're bigger than these. So these, these are my favourite. I like these, the soft case ones that will fit in. They'll fit in the Outcast 6S. They'll fit in the FTX DR8 and they'll fit in the Typhon 6S. They'll also fit in the Big Rock 3S. They'll fit in the Typhon 3S. What they won't fit in is the Stampede. So I was buying these to try and fit them in the Stampede. And I could also use these in all of the cars I just mentioned. I could use them in the Big Rock, the Typhon 3S, the Typhon 6S, the Outcast 6S and the FTX DR8 on 6S these are too big for the stampede these are a perfect size for the stampede once you've bought the extended battery tray now these these and these are all more expensive than uh, than these
but as I found these I've got for £50 each I've got four of these I've got I've got four Awanfis and I've got four Genzes I've got four of these you me so I've got four of those hard packs four of those four of those those were £50 each those were uh, £33 each those I can't remember but probably about the same £30-£33 each same as them those are £30 each I've got eight of these um, not all in this bag but I've got eight of these so I'm not picking on these I'm not saying these are bad without knowing what a good battery is something to compare it to these balance every time the charge the discharge evenly they're brilliant these all good I've had less experience with these so far the these are new these are new I've used these quite a bit but recommendation do not buy Zop batteries I bought them they were tempting because they were cheap and let's just say you get what you pay for they're cheap for a reason um, the other reason I bought them is because a big name youtuber recommends them dirt cheap lipos reliable and he's never had any problems with them the thing is he also gets them free so he's gonna say that whether it's true or not even if it is true if he gets a faulty battery he didn't pay for it and if he gets a faulty battery he'll get in touch with uh, the supplier and say I've got a faulty battery can you send me some more so if you're spending your money you can spend a hundred pound on four of these use them twice throw them in the bin or you can spend a hundred pound on two of these and you can keep them and run them and they'll work for you so for what it's worth there's my recommendation don't waste your money on Zop Power they're crap alright bye